Hello everyone, welcome to the stream. How are you doing? How was your Halloween? And how is your first of November going? We're here to play some more Vampire Survivors, a follow-up to our stream from this time last week. Um, I just want to mention up front that the game does have a warning of uh, containing flashing lights. I've hopefully mitigated that by turning off the, uh, um, the flashing light setting. Um, but it does get pretty visually busy, so just to let everybody be aware of that. Uh, let's get some music going. Like that. Let me know how the levels are for everybody. I, um, I came to the conclusion after last week's stream that I probably had the game audio a little bit too high up in the mix, so I've toned it down a bit this time. But if it's too low, do let me know that. Um, I'm trying to find my own volume switch. Where's that? Just be a second. There we go. That should sort me out. So let's get back into it. So this is a, um, a timed survival game. Um, very minimal controls, just directional controls with auto firing. And um, we power up as we go along uh, to take out waves of enemies um, and yeah, gain experience points to, to keep levelling up, um, so that eventually we can last the time limit. That's the game. That's, that's the aim of the game. Um, so we had a couple of ambitions. I mean, I certainly had a couple of ambitions for this uh, this stream. So we, we definitely did some important unlocks last time. I want to unlock a couple of new characters, which I think is well, is well within our capabilities at the moment. We need to get the Fire Wand weapon to level 4 and the Lightning Ring weapon to level 4 to unlock these two characters here. Um, and I thought, I was pretty sure last week when I had a look through here, that there was some kind of cat unlock, which I very much wanted to get. But I wonder if, uh, because there's been an update in the meantime, I wonder if that's changed or I had misinterpreted what I had seen. The sprite might have changed, possibly. Um, I don't know, there's some exciting characters by the looks of it. There seems to be whoever's in a, if you're in a box, you're a character. If you're in a, I'm not sure how to describe that colour. A putrid, putrid green brown colour? You're a character. Um, so there's like bosses to defeat, there's all sorts to do. But I, can't, I can no longer see what looked like last time looked to me like a tabby cat, which I'm a bit disappointed by because. That would have been highly motivating, but um, also we can buy things. So let's, uh, let's have a little peek. Um, I think I'll save up for. Uh, I'm kind of tempted. I don't know how wise it is. I'm kind of tempted to say not save up. Sorry, for the um, for this one, the amount increaser. So it fires one more projectile. So we'd be at um, two projectiles for everything that we started off with. Uh, it is going to cost us 5,024 coins at this point, which is a lot. But I'm going to start playing and we'll see, see how well we do uh, financially. Okay, I still think it is a good bet for getting further um, because of the experience bonus that she gets. So let's give it a whirl. Okay. Ah, yes. Yeah, so when the main music kicks in, it's pretty, pretty powerful. So I think this, I think this uh, balance should be okay. Um, I think we're doing okay visually. I'm gonna. I've got a dual screen setup, which is uh, it's kind of a new thing for me for for streaming. Um, and last time I definitely did miss a chat, which I am very sorry about. So I'm gonna try to make it more obvious for myself when there is a chat so that I can say hello to people because that's half of half the aim of the game of, um, of being live hey first level up okay nice right I'm gonna uh, pull, what should I go for actually None of the things that we want. Cross is good. I'm going for cross. I'm just going to mute myself for a minute to drink, have a little sip of drink, and uh, then you will hear my voice again shortly.
Okay, folks. Uh, they've given me a choice between whip, garlic, and knife. Uh, if you've watched last last time's stream, you know how fond I am of garlic, so I'm going to go for garlic. Okay, gotta remember about trees. Tree trees can be okay. what you can. Cheese, cheese, cheese. Trees can be tricky. But now with garlic's up, we're, um, we're better, better protected against the hordes of bats for sure. These tombstones are tricky too. Hey, that's pretty, pretty pretty. Okay, another level up. Um, fire wand. Ooh, Pomerola. No, definitely fire wand because that's one of our goals. So very much enjoying exploring the Pomerola options uh, last time as well. For some passive health regeneration. Um, I do love a passive effect. I think the um, this is definitely in, in one of the uh, the sweet spots for the the rogue light for me um, because I'm not always the best at games, especially when there's any kind of action involved. Um, so if it's a rogue light where you can um, save progress sort of incrementally in some way um, and eventually get just get powerful enough to take anybody out, um, I do I do enjoy that sense of progress. Um, and definitely, this game definitely fulfills that for me. Um, right, so do I want to soup up the magic wand? Do I want a knife? Or do I want, oh, I want spinach really, don't I? More damage from the weapons that we do have? That sounds good. In um, in lieu of being able to upgrade the fiery, fiery torch. I think it's slot wand though, isn't it? Not a torch. All right, so we're seeing we're seeing more bats and more skeletons. We've got regular whip skeletons. We've got like, oh, is that a spear? What's that? Oh, it's kind of like a spear. Uh, archer skeletons who don't actually use their bow and arrows. And pirates, you know, pirates. Um, okay, more garlic. Yes, definitely more garlic. Always more garlic. Ooh, okay, there's a treasure chest for us to uh, work our way back. Ooh, we hadn't had we had that hasn't been before. I think we've had the time stoppy thing before. That can be very useful. There we go, it's gonna get the last to get our treasure chest. Okay. Let's see what we've got. Get ready for the music. Spinach! Yay! I'll take it. I'll take anything. <laughs> I'll take anything. Oh, and we leveled up normally as well. Well, we're definitely taking Fire Wand if that's what we want for our character unlock. Um, so we've got that level two, and we need two more levels to unlock a new character. Um, do I want more cross, more crossness, more oneness, more crossness? I think. Well, that was some fast leveling, so that's impressive. I mean, we can get a. Um... We can get a drop uh, that does help us gain even more experience as well, even more than this, um, this character is able to do uh, from the start. So that could be a way of escalating things. Uh, if we want to try and get a little bit further. Um, got 132 coins that will. Hell, but uh, is is a little way short of getting us to to five thousand, which was an ambition I had. But let's see what let's see what happens. Oh, okay, we're in the ring of plants. There's a, there's a mantis. 
Yeah, so one of the, uh, I forgot to mention when we started up, but one of the things that I am looking forward to unlocking is the um, is the codex of uh, of all the characters and creatures. Um, I don't know, I don't know what point that might pop in, but I'm very much hoping we can reach some of that uh, on stream. That'd be lovely. Okay, more cross, more wand, more oh lightning. Yeah, yeah, let's just do it. Because we don't know, we don't know if we're going to be able to get lightning or fire to level four, um, but we can sure as heck try. Okay, so these green uh, zombies are a bit tougher, a little bit tougher than we're probably able to handle, but we can kind of cover out them sufficiently because we're, um, we're a little bit faster than them. Oh, hello! There's a wealth of experience over here. It's a whole untapped workforce over here. Right, do I want... Yes, I want fire wand. There you go. Didn't really have to think about that once I thought about it. Yeah, so I don't. Um, I'm quite sure how. F oh, I think that's a little bag of money, isn't it? Ooh, more about more money over there. If I can get to that, probably not right now. Um, I don't know how far you have to get in at the forest level to unlock the next level, which I think is a library. Um, which should be interesting. Um, but I guess we might find out. Wonder what kind of monsters hide in a library. I mean, uh, I've got some ideas. Ooh, there's, so there's a red gem over there. Uh, and what was that? Ah, here's a money bag. Let's go get that. Let's see if we can kind of cheekily scoot our way back around here. Oh, okay, things are pressing now. Pressing in. Hey, time has stopped. That, oh, let's go get that red gem then. We've got the advantage of time. There you go. Ah, brilliant, that was just what we needed. Um, I'm going to get Pomerola for some health regen. I think that might help, although I, I think it'll only really get effective if we can level it up a few times, but you never know, you never know. Usually in the early stages you um, you can earn only a certain number of things that you really have the, the chance to level up, um, but when you get a little bit more powerful from the upgrades that you can buy between runs, um, then you usually got the luxury of a few more level ups um, and treasure chests to be able to um, kind of level everything up eventually within a run um, which is quite exciting um, but then if you give it overpowered it can be a bit boring but you can just kind of watch the fireworks display from there really uh, oh that looks dangerous let's just see if we can walk away from that there's a money bag over here Okay, yeah, so quite a few undead uh, wandering around. Doing a. I said that, yeah, I said they're ambling. That's a, definitely an amble. Whoa, uh, that looks like an amble to me. Um, we can walk through these plants, we can, lovely. We're. What are we? 840, okay. So we're a, a little bit off the next, uh, next ring of plants. Um, Okay, we're crawling our way towards a new le a level up as well, um, which will help. Yeah, we don't seem to be having great damage output at the moment, which is a shame. Oh, and the big the big bats the big bats are out. Okay, well let's let's loop back around here. There's some stuff here that we'd uh, we hadn't got around to picking up earlier. Money, it's lovely. Okay. Um, oh this was this is none of the things I really want, but 
given the choice, I'll level up the magic wand. Okay, so we're, we're back in the uh, potentially very dangerous ring of flowers. Uh, those carnivorous blossoms. Those triffids. Because they are triffids, that'd be cool. Um, yeah, so I think this is probably a situation we want to try and walk out of, if we can. Uh, but soon it's going to be an onslaught of pirate skeletons, which I don't think we're... Oh, we might just make it through. Um, I feel like I feel like we need to do more damage. Really, um, is any of this gonna help? Let's do lightning rings. That's that's one of the things we're here for. Oh, that'll be a big chunk of experience. That will help. Okay, cool. All right, so I might just have time to heave up a little bit of experience before things get gnarly. A little bit of money. Yeah, I can get that money. Oh no, I don't want to be stuck in here with the madness if I can help it. Because they do a lot of damage. Okay. Yeah, I, th I think we're just, just about... Whoa, okay, so we... There's a Jumbo Jumbo Mantis over there, which I'm quite keen to avoid. Um, skeletons don't pop quite as fast as I would like. Uh, well, oh, okay, so we can do more Magic Wand damage. Sorry, reduce the cooldown. So we do uh, damage more quickly. We get an empty tone which reduces weapon cooldown by 8% across the board, but doesn't necessarily work for every weapon. But I will I'm gonna go for empty tone. I uh, don't think it works on things like the garlic. The garlic's pretty independent of most most other upgrades. Uh oh. Okay, okay. We've still got over 50% of health, which is cool. Um, I guess I must have uh, forget that we've got Pomerola uh, as an ability. Um, okay, I'll just keep trying to edge a little bit towards this. Oh, okay. I was hoping that was going to be some floor chicken, but it wasn't. Okay, if I can edge away from the Mantis um, without edging so fast that uh, I get uh, impaled on any skeletons. We might survive this. Gonna go for Pomerola this time. I mean, potentially, if you do, if you have something like Rune Tracer, which uh, can go kind of across the visible screen and do quite a broad swathe of damage, you can um, you can get a lot of experience out of those um, those skeletons at that point. Um, but we don't have that this time around. Oh, okay. We. We certainly did it a fair bit here. This should help us, hopefully, to level up a bit. There we go. Um, oh, uh, more spinach? Okay, more spinach. Okay, uh, uh, no. Okay, we do, we do kind of need some floor chick at this point, and fewer fewer enormous uh, mantises, but mantids? I don't know, mantids maybe. Ooh! Ah! That's an absorb thingy, where you get all the experiences on the map at the current point. That's very handy. So we're definitely getting a few more of the uh, random drops, I think. Oh, we still haven't, that reminds me, we still haven't found a uh, four-leaf clover in the wild, which will unlock um, four-leaf clover uh, luck upgrade as one of these level up options as well. Okay, uh, oh, more spinach? Okay. Oh, okay, yep, multiple level ups, that's good. What level are we? Where does it tell me? Don't know. Uh, oh, fire wand, yes! Level four, perfect. Okay, uh, so I can get more of my cross, I can. Get the crown? Let's get the crown. Let's get more experience. Because in the short term, anyway, that's pretty handy. 
Uh, let's get more spinach. Should that Whoa, okay? We're doing all right. Um, oh, cross. I guess this time. Okay, we're gonna get one, at least one more. Uh, level up out of this. Uh, very lucky find. Um, I guess magic wand this time. Okay, well that was cool. I don't think we're gonna survive much longer, but we should have unlocked a character for um, getting the fire uh, wand to level four which was one of our objectives. So, pretty happy about that. Okay, uh, it's gonna be really hard to survive through these. Um, the ghosts aren't much of a problem, but the werewolves do enormous amount of damage. Yeah, oh. Well, that was, that was pretty exciting. Let's see what we've won. Whoa, defeat a total of three thousand skeletons. We unlocked a character. Find a vacuum, a tractor, we found a tractor, but we found the time thing, so we've got a clock lance it. Ah, we've got Arca, okay. Uh, oh, reached level 20 in the Mad Forest. Okay, well I answered several of my questions with that, didn't I? Amazing. So, let's have a look at characters that we've got. So we've got Arca, who we can unlock with uh, 650 coins. Oh, what? And you can see their stats as well? I didn't realise that. Is that a new thing? I don't think that was there when we started today, was it? And Mortaccio uh, gets more projectiles every 20 levels. Weapon is this bone, presumably. Oh yeah, and it makes sense that we unlocked Arca with the, the flame wand, and they get the flame wand. Yes. <gasps> oh, well that's exciting. And they both cost 650 to unlock. Well, you know what? Uh, we'll definitely try one of them in our next run. Um, so, what did we find? We found, uh, or we know about, we know about the time thingy, but we haven't. Yeah. So this was the vacuum, um, which gathers gems, and we also found the time thing, didn't we? Orologium uh, freezes all enemies in time for ten seconds. Excellent. Oh, by the way, I um I neglected to do any uh, research on the fritter to find out if it's a real world thing and how I might pronounce it because I uh, unfortunately I'm still none the wiser. Uh, right, yes, yeah, so I think let's go straight back in. Let's have Arca unlock, and let's take. So we want weapons that um have cooldowns that we can uh, reduce with our cup because that's uh, that's their bonus um, and we'll I guess we'll try and get the lightning uh, ring up to level 4 to unlock another character I guess hang on yeah <gasps> now we've got a level select <gasps> because we unlocked the second stage whoa there's loads of stages I was not expecting quite this many Okay, so we've been to the Mad Forest, we get a description for it as well. Once a, fri a thriving haven, now a dumping ground for evil. A vampire is said to be the root of this evil, but we can find only mayhem and roast chicken. And then, so we have right now have access to the inlaid library, which I, I'll definitely have a look at before we finish the stream. But I want to get more progress done in the Mad Forest first, I think. So, the inlaid library. The futile scribe was cursed to know all and understand nothing. This endless library may gift us insight or damnation. A mask of stone whispers endlessly within. Oh, that's suitably spooky. Excellent. Oh, there's... Oh, you get stats. Okay, so there's a relic. There. So for the Mad Forest, the Tommy Downloader time limit is 30 minutes. Clock speed is times one. Uh, so there's no other kind of stats. Ooh, move speed plus 25% in the inlaid library. Does that mean we move 25% faster and everything else does too? That's how I'd interpret it, I think. Anyway, on with Arca in... Oh, yeah, I was kind of there in the result. On with Arca in the Mad Forest. Let's go. Okay. Fire wand. Okay, so the cooldown's not... <laughs> Not great to start with, but um, at least the Firewand is, is a nice big uh, heavy damage thing. Oh, I think you'd be really good with 
Rune Tracer? Probably. Oh, but Lightning Ring is what, what we're aiming for, so we'll definitely get Lightning Ring this time. To be honest, I would have picked all three of those uh, had I been given the chance. But I wasn't, I wasn't given the chance. And then some level ups. You get three things you think, well, I huh, can't be bothered about any of those. Can I have some garlic, please? Alright, I think I'm gonna. Ooh! Uh, after we've done this. Ooh, we could try the clock lance. That, um, I haven't found it particularly effective. But let's give it a whirl, because I don't fa really fancy the other two of these, so let's give it a try. What's going to try is the pause menu. Let's see if there's anything new that's unlocked here. We've got our stats, which um, we have seen before. General options. Uh, you can always quit and keep everything you've uh, unlocked and all the gold you've made up to this point, which is pretty cool. Uh, but no, well, let's carry on. Okay, so nothing new there at the moment. Well, I think that, that shooting white line is the uh, clock lance it. So I think anything that that line hits it will freeze in time for a bit. Which could be useful for crowd control potentially, but you probably need to... Um, oh yeah, sorry, that zombie there. You probably need to um, level it up a few times to get it really effective, I imagine. I guess because it's uh, running clockwise um, at certain uh, certain intervals, you could probably try to use it strategically. Um, I'm probably not going to um, be thinking about it that much, to be honest. So slightly more str uh, of strategic use than the, the random firing ones. Okay. Ooh. Next up, right, we're gonna loop back round in a big, uh, in a big old circuit to get some of this experience. Great. Uh, oh, given the choice, let's do clock lance it. So it lasts longer. I wonder if you can get multiple, um, multiple iterations of it, so it covers a wider area. Two lines at once. I don't know if that's possible. Would be cool. Okay, yeah, so I think I'm just gonna wander around. Hoping not to run into anybody if I can. Maybe pick up the odd floor chicken. God, I hope there's floor chicken in the library. Or oh, maybe book chicken. Although, what would that be? That would be, uh, that would be like butterfly chicken, wouldn't it? Okay, I think I've flown a bit too close to the skeletons, uh, as I'm now under half health. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not really. I'm not really digging the uh, the old clock line set, to be honest. But that's in the absence of the other things that we want. Let's keep going with it. Maybe it'll be more effective. Yeah, I'm definitely more more a fan of proximity damaging weapons and um, big uh, uh, big hitting damage. 
uh, in weapons. So stuff like the garlic or the the axe or the um, the cross, um, I find pretty useful. All right, so the gems are still doing a fair lump of experience for each one we get. So I think we can at least get a couple more levels up out of this situation before things go a little too awry. Oh, we're very, oh, okay. We're inside the uh, inside the circle of of trouble. Uh, more lightning rain, yes, please. Um, I think it takes lightning rain a while to be particularly effective as well. I think we can move. Oh, move through that when they're frozen. But I uh, didn't time that well at all. Oh, okay. So it can do quite a big. Uh, I think yeah. So I think the. Um, the line hasn't really thickened, but I think the range of enemies that it can freeze has increased by the looks of it. We've got a big old block of, block of ghosts um, a minute ago. I really need some floor chicken. Okay, let's hope there's some down here. Yes, great. How about here? Floor chicken? Uh, no, that sounded like a coin to me, but we can at least last a bit longer. Okay, my aim will be to get to the 10 minute mark. Oh, hello. Um, what do I want here? A track door. Pick character picks up items from further away. Yeah, let's give that a go. That can only help. Um, yeah, that seems to have made a noticeable difference. Like I've kind of got a groove going at the moment. Yeah, yeah. Just try and not get pinned in by anybody if we can help it. Yeah, I think we need some more f more focused uh, damage dealing. Really, because the um, the clock lancet doesn't do any damage. Um, you know what, we should level up the. Should we level up? No, magic wand. I think diversity is what we need. We need something that's gonna clear the path even just a little bit. Oh dear, it's all gone wrong now. Oh well. We made, t we made 20 coins. But I don't think we can even unlock the our, our um, new skeleton power. Oh no. Well. It was a bold run. Um, I think it was harder to survive with Arca than, uh, than with some of the other characters, but that's okay. What did we get Lightning Ring to? Level 2. Fair enough. Alright, and I think, yeah, we're pretty, um, pretty cash poor at the moment, aren't we? Yeah, only 198. So let's go back here and let's do um, Pasqualina, because I do like the old, um, uh, I forgot what it's called, thing. Uh, Rune Tracer. Ah, thanks, Brain. Pulled it back out. Uh, we'll do the Mad Forest. There we go. Okay. Um, once again, we'll, tr we'll try to get Lightning uh, Lightning Ring up to level 4 to unlock the next character. The, the next most plausible unlocked character. Unlockable character. Although I'm amazed we managed to... Um, Take out 3,000 skeletons. Do you think that must be across all runs or in one run? It must be in one run, right? So we must have had a much better uh, go against those um, the skeleton onslaught than uh, than I had thought. Okay, so out of these ones, I'm not bothered about clock last. That wasn't doing a lot for us last time, was it? 
I'll take knife this time. I think, um, if I remember, this character starts with a, um, uh, a reduced cooldown, um, and then the cooldown goes back to normal. Uh, just because the rune tracer um, only fires one projectile, um, and so infrequently that it would be hard to, uh, and random as well, um, that it would be hard to uh, gain much experience otherwise. I think that's what's going on there. Uh, oh, team team all these up with a magic wand, and I think we're onto something now. Got some kind of multi-directional uh, damage going on. So some way clearing with the knives. There's some uh, proximity damage with the magic wand. And there's kind of random path clearing with the ring tracer. It's a, it's a pretty good combo, I think. Um, so looking positive. So, uh, if, we, if we want cash, and to be honest, I need the cash, um, we, we're we probably going to have to try and get to a state where we're happy to go after um, some of the bigger enemies, because they're the ones who are going to drop, um, drop treasure. So, typically the mantises, uh, the white bats when we see them, um, i trying to think what other enemies do. Uh, the ones that are... Uh, rare rather than in hordes um, are, are typically the ones. Uh, what we're going to do here, I think uh, spinach is probably good actually. Keep our, our um, damage levels up will help us to um, thin things out a bit. I might. Oh, peach on is very tempting. I might go for more rune trace in this case though, because. Um, at higher levels, rune tracer is very effective at clearing a room. Uh, either that or just the amount of floor chicken I've been eating. Okay, we're, we're kind of we're kind of getting there. Um, we're not um, not doing a lot of damage, uh, so the experience drops are a bit patchy. Perhaps a little bit patchy than I would like. Um, skeletons take a couple of hits to go down. Um, so I'd say we could do with upping our damage a bit. We're not going to get me into that little garden. Garden of death. I can leave that floor chicken for a rainy day. Not advised, not advisable. It's not, not good food hygiene. Okay, get a level up. Um, Oh, none of these things are the things I want. But I will take more magic wand, actually. Thanks. Um, so I think this, so this little special bat with the uh, with the blue halo, um, I think that would be a a red gem drop if we uh, if we took that one out uh, rather than a chest. Um, but that would still be really helpful, so I might. Mm, I'm afraid the other enemies are a bit too numerous for me to hang around. Um, sometimes when you're not um, not quite so beset, you can uh, you can tail a um, a little horde. And it, whoa, okay, we got one of the fritters. That's pretty good. Let's turn it on. These guys. Ah, oh, we got a chest. Amazing. Okay, let's get a chest. Okay, you ready for it? Music drop.
K111 coins and Rune Tracer. That will do, yeah. Uh, base damage up on the Rune Tracer. Oh, and a level up. Um, I think out of these things... You know what, if you had an effective Palm Roller and Hollow Heart, that would be pretty cool. But I think in this instance, I'm going to get two knives. I think two knives are better than one. Great, already time for another one. Uh, knife, I get three knives with extra damage. Let's just do that. Okay, well now our out damage output is... Uh, is oh, hello. Let's do this. That's handy. Yeah, so the cross uh, just uh, takes out instantly takes out any enemies on screen. Unfortunately, all the ones just about to spawn off it are still there, but you can't have everything. Great, another chest. I, I'm not counting my blessings uh, well enough, I don't think. So, another lump of cash and a magic wand upgrade, which reduces its cooldown. That's good. Uh, we're a lot better equipped now, so those um, those fines and level ups have helped quite a lot. If you're lucky to um, be in proximity to something like one of the uh, prey manises, uh, when you find a cross in the wild, that could be a really um, effective, easy way to uh, get um, a chest. Uh, I'm going to get garlic. You know I'm going to get garlic. Right, we're, we're just not seeing the um, the lightning ring this round, are we? But oh, okay. There's a fritter over here. Let's go. Let's go fritter because there's um there's quite a gang of uh of folks over here who can we can breathe on. There we go. That'll help. There we go. Yes, much better. Okay. Well, uh, it started off promising. I got a little doubtful, and now it. I feel like we're we're getting there. All right, now I can get the lightning ring. I think I will do it. I will do it. It will definitely help with um, clearing crowds. Um, in, especially in combination with Ring Tracer. Um, at higher levels, things like the knives pass through more enemies as well, so you, they can become even more effective that way. Which uh, I would certainly be welcoming. Okay. Uh, so we've got so, you know, a minor zombie horde. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. Okay, so in a very short space of time we lost an awful lot of health there. But we might be able to recoup it. Let's find out. Um, let's get more Rune Tracer. You never know. It does get it does get pretty, uh, pretty darn effective. So I think it's worth doing. Let's no, I was hoping for four chicken, did not find. Okay, I think down is probably the way to go. Is there a fewer fewer at well there were a few enemies in that direction, generally. Um, okay. Er it's heating up a bit. Okay, we might be able to get another level up out. We've done we've done definitely done better for cash this this run, so that's it's gonna add to the uh, the aim of uh, saving up for a big reward. Um, oh, let's get level two lightning ring. There we go, halfway there. That's cool. 
We don't want to. Oh, hang on, four chicken. Left over. Um, I do really want to find a four leaf clover somewhere because uh, I feel like that's a, an important thing we're missing. I guess we just haven't been lucky yet. Do you want gar more, more garlic? Do you want to be more garlicky? Do you want to attract items from further away? I'm not bothered about the clock world, so I want more garlic. Lots, lots more garlic, please. It's um, actually um, no a notable difference as soon as you upgrade the garlic. You get definitely get more of a buffer. It's more effective against some enemies than others, but it is worth it. Great, well that might just make all the difference then. If we get a little bit more, um, a little bit more, ooh, are we, there's a chest over here. If we get a little bit more space to move around, a little bit more freedom, um, then we can probably hoover up some good stuff. Yeah, I'll come back for that chest, but at the moment I want to hoover up some of, some of this uh, earned potential. Okay. Yeah, okay, I'm looping back round. Okay, show me the shit. Oh no, I'm trapped in the thing. Okay, I think we're gonna have to break out of here because I don't think I can uh, survive very. Oh, okay. Survive very long in this scenario. Um, I would like more Rune Tracer, please. Level 5 is pretty good for, at the moment for where we are. So, yeah, anything at level 5 is pretty nifty. Right, can we take out these guys? Faithfully enough to get to this. Oh, okay. I'm gonna have to head down very quickly once this has uh, been awarded to us. All right. Okay. Yeah, magic wand. Why not? Magic wand. Uh, one more projectile. Brilliant. Okay. All right. I think I got away with that somehow. Oh, yeah, um, definitely in terms of uh, frequency of output and uh, quantity of output, we're doing quite a bit of damage. Um, so that's handy. Not many chances to upgrade the lightning ring so far. And um, I don't know, I think I might do alright with. The, oh, the skeletons, let's find out. But I need to stay away from the the more damaging enemies if I can. Yeah, I think. Or oh, that bat's going to be a problem, possibly. I do to keep getting, heading away from the giant mantis that is uh, looming on the horizon. Uh, but I think the garlic bubble is um, giving us just enough of a buffer that we can probably make our way through the skeletons without too much problem. Lightning ring level three. Yes, please. Okay. Yeah, if we sort of head laterally through here. Oh, uh, well, I can see the mantis is coming. Okay. We'll see the uh, the problem. If we survive the skeletons, is that then we have to we don't have to survive the werewolves. But well, like I said, I just realised where uh, it shows you what level you are. It's in the uh, right hand corner of the uh, level up bar, the experience bar. Oh, okay. No, oh, we're stuck between a werewolf and a mantis place. Um, I think we should definitely get level six ring tracer. We're about to go down. I feel. I fear. Okay, ghosts, not, not a problem. Skeletons, probably not a problem. Uh, werewolves, definitely a problem. Jumbo Mantis. And what's, what's bigger than a problem? Uh, a catastrophe? A catastrophe. 
Okay. Yep. Okay, well, so if I can do some nifty uh, arrow key work and get us around the werewolves, we might be able to survive a little bit longer. Would not say no to floor chicken. Oh, hello, Jumbo Mantis. Oh, okay. Don't go too fast through the oh, the uh, gaggles of ghosts. Oh, another jumbo mantis. Right. Okay, this is getting a bit silly now. Um. The, ah. Okay. We got mobbed, but that was pretty good. That might be the longest we survived, or at least tying. Oh, new achievement: recover a total of one thousand HP. Unlocked Clarici. Or Clariki. Amazing! So another character. That's gotta be that's gotta be across all our runs, isn't it? Yeah. Well, let's have a look. So we've got a new character here. Uh oh, okay, so the, the cost to unlock characters seems to go up as well because Mortaccio is now seven hundred as well as Clariki. Clariki. Swore Clariki. Uh, opponent plus 0.5 HP per second and plus 50 max health. Starts with temporary area bonus. Ooh, and gets the. Um, oh, I guess that, that makes sense because it's the holy water that you get as your starting, um, starting weapon. Amazing. Well, I think we did. That was a pretty good Pasqualina run, wasn't it? We can't unlock any of the new characters yet, unfortunately. Let's do a Gennaro run. Um, once again, trying to get lightning up there. Uh, once again, the Mad Forest, thanks. Yes, yeah, so starting off double knives there. Uh, stay away from me, bats. Magic wand, oh, a double magic wand wouldn't be, wouldn't be a terrible thing now, would it? Um, oh, mind you, fire. So, I think it should be fire wand or cross because they both do a lot of damage. I think fire wand actually. Um, so if we can get that with extra projectiles, um, seems like a winner to me. Yes, yeah, so we've got four fireballs fanning out of our. Fire ones there. Let's get that up in damage. That should make that even more devastating. And you know me, I love to devastate. Okay, I'm gonna try see if I can take out this special bat. I feel like we've yes, okay, whoa, okay, that worked. Uh, I felt like we had the opportunity to there. Alright, let's leave these guys away a little bit if we can. And then I'll try and double back. Um, in a cheeky kind of way. Uh I didn't that didn't quite work out. Okay. Uh, the bats aren't really a problem, but the zombies still are at this point. Okay, I'll come back to you, Jess. Don't worry. <gasps> Hang on, I need to breathe fire on people. And level up, apparently. Uh, well, let's just get the cross as well. Why not? Be, be greedy. Okay, so I'm cutting a path to this treasure chest. Uh, yeah, that kind of worked. Brilliant. Okay, here we go.
Am I angry? No, of course not, it's a cross. Brilliant, base damage up by 10. Had a level up? Great. I will have move faster. There you go, let's throw that into the mix. Uh, more effective dodging, hopefully, maybe, possibly. Um, perhaps I should have gone for damage output instead. We'll never know. Well, we might do when this, this run ends. Perhaps it will tell me you should have gone for damage output. You know, the extra projectile does make quite a lot of difference. That's why I'm quite keen to unlock that as a permanent upgrade for all characters. Um, but that's, yeah. I found the, uh, the only real way to earn like thousands in a run is to, um, is to be able to go the distance to the end. Um, but that, that's a challenge in and of itself. Uh, more knives, yeah, more knives, thanks. Okay. Uh, oh, should we? Yeah, let's get Rune Tracer. So I think the... Um, the multiple projectiles thing applies to Rune Tracer as well, so you get two two shots of Rune Tracer right from the start, which is probably going to be quite effective in this scenario. Because we've got we've got directional or directed, I suppose, output from the knives, which is pr pretty substantial at the moment, and then we've got randomised uh, high damage output from the flames and the crosses, and then path going for the ring tracer. All pretty good. Um, I'm going to pump over. Let's start to get some health back. I'm really impressed at the um, how we've accidentally unlocked two characters um, without consciously trying. But the uh, one of the ones that we uh, we think we can quite readily get to um, has so far eluded us. Okay, well now I've got garlic as well, so I, f I feel like if I play my cards right, I am uh, I want to win here. Oh, hang on, let's freeze time. And then I can just uh, aim as much as possible at this Mantis. In the hopes that they might turn into a treasure chest. Okay. Oh yeah, it was risky but it kind of worked. Okay, so now let's run around until the flowers disappear. Then we should be able to go back and claim that treasure. That worked surprisingly well. Get this money. Oh, level up. I will not say no. I will take damage this time, thanks. Oh, there's a lot of experience over here. Let's figure up some of that on our way. Okay, love this. Get this. Let's see what it is. Here you go. Yay, it's knives. Let's go back to the game. Right, we're hmm, there's a steady steady plop 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 of damage being done, which um I think it's suggesting that we might be in a good position for this run. I'm cautiously optimistic. 
There's some floor chicken, I won't say no. Oh, more floor chicken? I didn't really intend to pick that one up this time, but what the heck? Okay, well, let's see if we can. Uh... I think we've got the the means to uh, bomb around a bit and pick up some of this stuff because we've been we've been pretty active on this on this map here. We've left quite a lot of uh, experience behind. Right, so do I want to upgrade the knife? Yeah, I want to upgrade the knife. That'll be quite handy come the uh, skeleton portion of the run. Um, maybe, maybe even as far as the werewolves. Want to um, upgrade the uh, damage we do though? Um, if it's struggling on the zombies still at this stage, but you know, it's something we can. We can hope for. Cool. Um, we're not going to get lightning this time, are we? Who am I kidding? Let's get more fire wands. More fire wandage. Alright, so bats not a problem. Zombies. Uh, take a couple of attacks to go down. Oh, let's stop time for seconds. Thanks. Oh, that wasn't stop time, was it? I'm confused. It was uh, make everybody dead thing. But I think that might have given us a treasure chest, so uh, that's, that was a, a mistake that only benefited me. More cross. Great, faster, bigger area. That'll do. Level up. Uh, Lob roll never found very helpful particularly. King Bible not so helpful if you've already got garlic, but more fire wand. Yeah, let's do it. We've got fire wand to level 4 two times now, but the lightning ring seems more elusive. Let's see if we can... Okay, yeah we do seem to be doing more damage generally. Which is, oh, I'm not sure we need that floor chicken. Um, yeah, I, th I think it's uh, might be the cross scything, scything through people um, at a much uh, much more prodigious rate, which is nice. I'm gonna go spinach this time to keep that damage output up. Yeah, you know what? We're um, yeah, we're in a nice, comfortable position with these zombies. Um, so I'm going to try and monopolise on that if I can. Let's stop time for a minute. And then I'm going to see if I can hoover up some of this experience. Oh, there's another one. Brilliant. Okay. Let's just see if I can get that. Yeah, we go. Let's like, extend this uh, opportunity for experience picking up. Yeah, so these these big bats are going to be a bit more trouble. Now, I like the rings turned up. Yeah, let's go for it. Because you never know. Ooh, there's the uh, there's the hot fritter over there. Okay, we ran into a few bats, so that was so good. Oh yeah, the bats are um, bats are a bit tricky, aren't they? Lots of experience lying around. See so if we can get to enough of that before. Um, for anything disastrous. Okay, we're in the we're in the plant ring again. Okay, kind of want to get out of here. Uh, this well, kind of worked as a doorway, didn't it? 
Oh, okay, I'll take this. Thanks. Oh, hang on. Is that gonna... Hey, <laughs> that did work! Amazing! That must do massive damage. Okay. Well, let's see what we get. Wind Tracer. What level have we got that to now? Uh, only level 2. Oh well, that'll help. Oh, and a general level. I think... Uh, health recovery at this point in time is probably more helpful. Let's stop everybody for a sec, thanks. Yeah, there we go. That will help. Thank you. Four chicken? No, no four chicken. I'll take the money that's there. And then if I can get around here. That would be helpful. Okay, now it's skeleton time. Which uh I might find it harder to survive directly from the skeletons, but I don't have a giant mantis chasing me, which is a plus. Um, I'm going to go... More Pomerola! So with a bit of nifty footwork... Um, I can probably outlast the skeletons. But, at the same time, I, uh, I don't have much confidence we can last for long beyond that point. Uh, fire wand, yeah, let's just get massive damage out of that fire wand if we can. Once again, I'm going to try and avoid the werewolves if possible. Um, luckily, the big attacks do tend to knock them back a bit, which is, uh, might give us. Oh, hello! I can see a new fritter there. Let's let's get that quickly. Here we go. If we just sort of clear a path south, the direction we're going, that's definitely better than nothing. Okay, that helped for a, for a bit of time. We've, we've definitely recovered some health in that time, so that's handy. Um, of course, if we get stuck against any uh, werewolves, I don't, still don't think that we've got much of a chance. I think the um, I think the screen does zoom out a bit as well, which I find a little disorienting. And I think at different points in the level, um, you get a little bit. A little bit closer and a little bit further away um, from your character, uh, which can be a bit disorienting if you're concentrating very, di uh, very uh, tightly on the direction you're moving in, as I am. Uh, more damage, thank you. Okay, so yeah, I'm gonna get stuck against the tree there. Wasn't a great strategic move. I was lured by that floor chicken. Pretty good run though, I think. Yeah, we got a lot. Um, cross was our big, uh, our big hitter there. Um, how are we doing money-wise? Money-wise? We could definitely unlock a new character, so let's do that. Um, do should we? I'm, I I want to try this uh, Sua Clarici. or Clarici. I'm not sure. Um, yeah, I'm intrigued. Let's do it. Come on, sister, let's go. Um, Matter Forest, once again, thank you. Okay. Okay, so we, uh, we've got to. Oh, oh, that's big area. 
That's big, big area. Excellent. Okay, um, I'm going to try King Bible because it's, it's uh, a good theme and I want to see how, how wide it swings around us uh, with this expanded air. <laughs> <Is> it... <laughs> Look at that! <laughs> That's hilarious. Unfortunately, it's um, the wider the area you get on the Bible, the less useful it becomes as a proximity uh, proximity attack. But you know what? In combination with the um, the big uh, big holy water, it's not bad. Well, this is fun. Okay. Um, oh, we should definitely get Pichu and Warren in this mode as well. Or in, oh, the air is decreasing already. Oh, man. Okay, I'll try and get um, garlic or something a bit more directed next time, I think. Let's try and keep our sister going for a bit longer. that for later. Okay, let's um, I wonder if I should go for for a tractor, actually. I was tempted by the fire wand. Um, the whip. I definitely would favour a knife, the knife weapon over the whip one, given the option. Oh, there's a nice red gem down here. Let's go pick that up if we can. Okay. More water? Yeah, sure. More holy water. Let's do it. Walked right into a bat there. It's time to get this chicken, I think. Uh, one more Bible? Why not? I think because there's some um, there's some passive health regeneration in built into this character, it um you've got a little more leeway to be a bit risky, I think. Just a little more leeway. for ghosts. Okay. Uh, do we want to upgrade the Puchon or get more damage overall? More damage overall, I think. At this, just at this point. Um, I think we're not gonna we're not gonna get um, an early doors lightning ring again, are we? It's a shame.
I think at a certain point, um, I think if you get Pichon to a certain level, you get uh, uh, like a a more a more damaging version of Pichon unlocked. I can't remember what it's called. Uh, it's kind of purpley coloured, I remember. Uh, but that that would be cool. Um, more attract orb or more sent more Santa water. Let's do it. Let's go all in on Santa water. I guess anything that uh, increased our area uh, would be good. Now it's shrunk back to kind of normal size. Okay, we're in the first arena of flowers. So this one should be survivable. We'll just try and tootle around it and uh, avoid the enemies. Maybe take a few out by accident on the way. There we go. Um, so what are we thinking here? I'm thinking, you know, and hear me out. Um, this character would be good with Hollow Heart. That's what I'm thinking. Um, with some inbuilt health regenerate. Oh, okay, that was a bad turn of events. But with some inbuilt health regeneration, those two things could go uh, hand in glove. Oh, let's go. Let's go take advantage of all this uh, unguarded experience. Lovely. And oh, let's get this lightning ring. Go on, we'll try again. Why not? I don't know if we'll be able to um, get the next three levels in it. Probably not unless we're very lucky with um, our level up options. But we can hope, can't we? We can only try and hope. That was lucky chicken. Okay. Okay. I think the um, the Santa water does because it's um, it persists for a little while. It does a fair amount of damage to enemies that um, cross its path, so that's pretty cool. Um, I don't have any damage that kind of directly comes out my body, so it's hard to get the uh, the braziers to um, to go out and release their sweet chicken. Garlic would be garlic would be good. This is this would be a good time for garlic, I think. In terms of uh, ensuring overall longevity, doctors recommend. Uh, Okay, um, we we can't unfortunately get any garlic, but we can get more more holy water. We're kind of pinned in, which is not great. Um, there's not haven't got much to make a buffer with, so I think this this could be this could be it. This could be the end, but maybe maybe we'll get lucky. If I hang around, if I hang around here, oh that's just some money. Which is good, don't get me wrong, but I'm not going to throw myself on on any of these monsters for the, for the bag of cash, because I don't think I'll get there. Let me head back this way. Some experience that I can mine. And see if I can make it to this chest that's apparently up here. Cool, okay. No bats! Okay, well at least I'll, I'm going to get the treasure before the bats get me, at the very least. Yay! More Holy Bible, please. King Bible. Um, speed and area up. Cool. Uh, right. Okay, so uh, I need to stay away from enemies for a few, uh, quite a few seconds to get anything out of the passive regeneration, or find um, find some floor chicken, really. Ugh. 
Okay, thanks, Holy Water. Hey, another level up! Okay, that's helpful. Um, what do I want? I've only got two more slots for weapons, bear that in mind. I think I will level up Pichon. Um, so, oh, that was unfortunate. Because that Pichon um, becomes a lot more effective with leveling as well. Okay, we're not we're not doing too bad. We haven't had a lot of options to do anything with the um, the lightning ring once again, unfortunately. Hey, floor chicken. Okay, things are looking oh, things were looking up. Yeah, for the the hordes of things um, like the bats and the ghosts. You could really do with having garlic or the laurel, probably, um, as measures to prevent against damage taken there. Okay, I think that was just a coin, wasn't it? I had a tink! Okay, um, health is quite low. Okay, we made it to the 10 minute, 10 minute ring, that's good, that went quicker than, uh, than I thought it might. Okay, now I uh, got myself stuck there. Okay. I, oh, get sent towards level 4, unlocked Candelabra door. That was nice, that was not something I was intentionally trying to do, but that's handy. Um, do we know what Candelabra door does yet? I think not, if I've understood how this works. No, we'd have to actually use it in anger to know what it does. That's fair. Well, that's cool. I think we've got enough, we should have enough coins to unlock our next character. Yeah, let's do it. Let's at the very least, uh, in this um, in this stream, unlock the characters uh, and play as them. So let's get more Tachio on. <laughs> Look at you, you're looking like a saint skeleton. Um, so, I mean, every 20 levels is not very often, but you would be best with projectiles, so I will bear that in mind. Back in the forest, let's give it a whirl. Okay, so it's kind of a, oh, so it's kind of rebound, so it's a bit like Rune Trace of the bone weapon, but, um, Goes off at a random. Yeah, okay. So it's not that frequent at the moment, and it goes off in random directions, so it's um, unreliable from that point of view. But potentially, it can rebound off quite a few enemies and do damage um, in groups. So I can see there would be a benefit to that one. Oh, it's pretty cool just, just to play like a saint skeleton, really. Um, oh, you should definitely get the cross. That's what you should get. Cross, cross goes there. Do we can get this bat? Do you think? Uh, I'm gonna. Well, I'm gonna. Okay, now I'm gonna back off. I think. You did pretty well. Okay. Yeah. I think we softened it up. Um, but I do need to um, be a bit more cautious now. I'd, I'm assuming, just from a game mechanical point of view, that Pomerola and everything will work the same on our Skeleton Pal. I assume so. Uh, I think you should also have... Ooh, Rune Tracer. Let's try it. Okay. 
so it's very very unlikely you get to level 20 in this run with Mortaccio, uh, let alone any other multiple of 20. But uh, oh, 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 oh yeah, because of reasons like that. Um, empty tome. Ah, yeah. So chicken. <laughs> For some reason, chicken is healing. Also to. Uh, the skeletons. I guess because this is a holy skeleton, that it makes sense. It makes sense. Uh, lightning ring, yes, please. That uh, more cross, more cross damage is good. That's what I'm thinking. If we do at some point get the luck power up, then that will uh, potentially also give us the chance of four options when we level up as well, um, and also should increase the chances of us getting treasure chests with multiple goodies in them. <gasps> we can upgrade our bone! Let's do it. Um, so that, that would be a good reason to get um, get luck up. For sure. I guess that's something we can purchase, isn't it? Even without having found it in the um, in the wild. Uh, your health is very low, Motaggio. That's not good. You're not very new to leveling up either. Okay, I feel like this uh, this character might be more fragile than others, but maybe it's just me not playing very well. That's also possible. Ooh, yeah, everything seems to do quite a lot of damage to Mortaccio. Blessed for chicken, but I'm stuck between the trees now. Oh, okay, I um, somehow got away with that. Okay, let's just see if we can check out this. Oh, yeah, no, I'll take that for chicken legs. Okay, well, this is a better position to be in. Um, we should be able to level up again, hopefully. I think garlic would be really nice, it would really season this chicken. Um, but failing that, let's reduce the cooldown on everything. One more, more effective rune tracer. Let's reduce the cooldown. Let's get those bones out a bit more often. Hmm, that helps. Oh well, yeah, so zombies are hard for us at the moment, um, even at this five minute stage. Okay, that's a nice big line of experience there to suck up. So we can find out what the candelabra door does now. It augments area of attacks by 10%. Interesting. I don't know. I think that would work with something like the lightning ring. I don't know if it works with 
the ring tree stuff? Let's give it a go. Let's give it a whirl. This is the first time we've seen it. It might mean that things like Rune Tracer go further, or um, they have a broader area of effect as they travel, maybe? Not entirely certain. I'm not sure how easy it would be to tell. Either. I've yet to see Lightning Ring be um, devastatingly effective. But then, I don't know, I think we're strong to get it past level 3, generally. Maybe even level 2. This seems to sort of happen and doesn't really have much of an effect on gameplay at the moment. Okay, oh, so we can do more bone damage. One more projectile, damage up by 20. That's a good old chunk, actually. Um, so that bone's pretty good. Or, oh, well, hang on, I've got no, no, I'm gonna, I know what I'm gonna pick. I'm gonna pick the lightning ring. Uh, because we, we do wanna go that to level four if we can. I think it's definitely gonna be worth trying to get each of the weapons to level four, because that seems to be a good unlocking point for other abilities or uh, characters indeed um, so we'll, we'll see what we can do there only imagine what happens if we get a level 4 bone okay so things uh, might get a bit hairy here because Motachi doesn't have a lot of personal protection uh, garlic would have been handy to have oh that's oh, that's immensely helpful okay Let's get uh, area up again. Might better see what effect it has. Okay, treasure found. Oh! Oh! We found a five in one. Whoa, so that usually only upgrades things that you already have unlocked this run. But we've got one upgrade to Cross, three upgrades to Candelabra Door. So the area for things that are affected by area is um, is going up 30%. And, oh, Lightning Ring up to level three. Oh, okay. I wonder if we can hold on long enough to um, to get another Lightning Ring level up. It's looking a bit dicey. Oh, no, here we go. We're doing it. So if nothing else... Oh, literally there was nothing else. But we should have that next character now. It's amazing. Okay. Oh, Porter. Nice. Looks styled quite like Arca, I think. Um, so the cross, the cross was really working for us there. Amazing. Okay. And we should have enough coinage to unlock Porter. A Porter's back put put back here. Eight hundred, yeah just enough. Permanent plus thirty area. Okay, we were talking about area, weren't we? So area must affect lightning if they're um if they're things the lightning ring. Cool. Temporary cooldown bonus as well. Oh maybe they're the one with the cooldown bonus and not uh Pasqualina. Yeah, that's right. Oh, uh, because lightning is a lot more random, isn't there anything else? Uh, yeah, we're going to do it. Let's do it. Let's give Porter a go. So Porter LaDonna, Arc LaDonna. So yeah, so they're, they're probably related, um, uh, like the Belpazi sequence up there. Nice, we've got a good suite of characters now. Okay, let's give Porter a go. Um, I hadn't realised how far through our streaming time we are already. This could be our our last run. We've probably got about 20 minutes left of the stream. Let's give this a go. Let's see uh, see how we get on back in the Mad Forest again. I haven't... Ooh! Okay, yeah. Massively reduced cooldown. Nice. That's pretty... 
<laughs> That's pretty brutal. Nice. Oh, garlic, definitely. Okay. Well, I'm I'm kind of kind of uh, pleased that we got some of our objectives done. The um, the things I thought might be more straightforward weren't straightforward. The things I didn't even know about were quite straightforward, which is a pleasant surprise. Yes, yes, we've got it made. Garlic and lightning. Uh, we're definitely very far off from um, getting the 5,000 we need for that upgrade I was eyeing. I don't know where that cat went. I wonder if I was hallucinating the cat. I'm going to have to go back and check the footage from last week to see if there was indeed a cat upgrade that we could get at some point. Some kind of unlock. A feline companion would be awesome. Okay, I feel like we're gonna, as the lightning slows down, I feel like we're going to need some other kind of projectile. So I'll look out for that. Okay. Uh, we're, well, Rune Trace is kind of another passive, wasn't it? Should we try and get more health? Let's try it. Unfortunately it doesn't fill that extra health up, you'd have to recover that in some form. But we can give that a try. Okay, so only the, the bats are fairly easy to, to get through with the garlic at the moment. Everybody else takes a few more hits. It's a shame. It is a shame. <gasps> Ooh, okay. Um, do I want knife? Fire wand? Mm, I think fire wand. I'm not quite sure why. Area. Maybe is that affected by area? It might be. So it kind of spreads out in a fat. Oh, I guess so. I didn't consciously pick that for that reason, but I guess it probably affects the garlic as well. Because the garlic looks um, quite. Looks like it has quite a broad radius for level one. Um, let's go for spinach. That should help a bit. Cool. Uh, ooh, what do we want to head to next? Rune Tracer, I think. Not sure if the area affects when we trace it, but if it does, um, it definitely looks like a chunkier arrow, doesn't it? So it could be, could be affecting uh, area. Just takes out more at once rather than has a longer duration or anything. Um, definitely garlic upgrade. Oh, look how big that is! It's immense. Okay. Um, Perhaps need it to be slightly more potent as well. We might have uh, thinned the garlic out a bit too much there. Luckily there was floor, floor chicken. So that is helpful. Uh, let's go down here. Okay, do we want to... Let's get the lightning leveled up again. I 
that's your, your main deal. Water, let's give that a go. Okay, yes, everything's taking a, a little bit longer to to get through than I might like, but let's pick up this little bag of money. There's definitely plenty of experience here, so we can get a couple of level ups out of this situation, I feel. Um, more damaging fire wand is helpful. Okay, we got to the five minute ring. I want that red gem, please, if I can. I can pop that in my mouth, thank you. Uh, I don't think we actually eat the gems, do we? We just sort of absorb them on touch, I imagine. Um, retrace a level two. Okay. Alright, let's follow this little path of gems, this breadcrumb trail, over to the main stop here. Level up again. Um, do I want any of these things? I'm going to take armor this time. It's not something I usually go for, but it might help us survive a little bit longer. Okay, and we'll try and be comprehensive with these if we can. Um, that was a coin thing. Alright, I think it's going moderately well. Uh, ooh, uh, ha, ha, ha. Okay, so, ooh, oh, oh, there's a chest that I do want, also there are many zombies that I do not want in the vicinity of the chest, so, oh no, oh no, oh no, this is bad, this is bad, this is also bad, um, the garlic's not really kind at the moment, is it? Oh, well, I like, I appreciate the coinage, but, kind of needs, oh, <gasps> we found the luck thing, excellent. Okay, I'm gonna call this a good. This is a, this is a good session if we've uh, we've unlocked luck as an option now. Um, probably not gonna get to try it and practice very much because uh, we're probably gonna melt into uh, into oblivion in a moment. If we can get up here faster than the enemies can spawn, we can probably get this chest. Which would be helpful. Wow, it's way up here, isn't it? We've come a long way. Okay, we get a level up as well. Um, Candelabra door? Or a tractor? A tractor. Sure. Uh, I don't know if we can get a chance to use any of those really, but here we go. Let's see what we get. More room tracer. What level are we at? Three. That's all right then. That's not bad. Okay. Oh, okay. Uh, floor chicken. Anybody? No. Oh, okay. That's that's it. Well, well, not bad. Okay. So yes, we've unlocked. Find a little clover. We've unlocked clover as a as a um, regular power up in the game. Excellent. 
Well, um, I don't think we can unlock anything. Oh, not, not that kind of unlock. Let's hide the completed ones and see what else there is to do. Oh, okay. So to pro progress uh, through other levels, we need to get progressively higher levels in each one, which makes sense. Um, we need to survive 20 minutes to unlock this character. Ah, so yeah, if we get a peak challenge to level 7, we get this, this purple huge one. We get a, some kind of gauntlet for the King Bible. Um, or we get the duplicator if we get magic wand to level 7. Mm. If we get rune trace to level 7, we get this thing, which I don't think I know about. Tarona's box, I do not know about. Hold six different weapon evolutions at once. What? What? Pentagrams level seven? Guide to level seven? Amazing. And 5,000 coins in a single run. That'd be that'd be nice, wouldn't it? Find the Grim Grimoire. Find the magic banger. What a magic banger. Um, amazing. Anyway, I was thinking about uh, powering up, wasn't I? Everything's going to cost more than we've got. Although might doesn't cost much more than we've got, which is pretty cool. And recovery doesn't as well. I was kind of hoping to save up for the one of the big ones. Um, revival. I think revival I would only get once I'd maxed out most other things. But amount was kind of what I want to aim for. Never mind. I think we've got time. We've got time for one more run. Let's go back to one of our uh, old favourites. Pasqu I quite like Pasqualina. Let's try another Pasqualina run. See how far we can get. Uh, once again, in the forest. I feel like this, there's definitely more we can do in the forest. So hopefully now we should um, see uh, luck. Uh, see Clover come up as an option when we uh, level up a bit treasure. So that will be nice. Okay, should we go? I haven't had axe for ages. Let's let's do some axe work. I can't remember what's Pasquini's bonus. Um, speed plus ten. G growth, growth. Is that air? No, that's not air, is it? Old uh, XP. I think it might be something I leveled up, won't it? Can't remember. Can't quite work it out. Well, that's alright. Okay. Um, yeah, so I think mainly because we've unlocked. Them, Quite a lot of things I was looking for this time. I think mostly I'm just hoping for a bit of cash out of this run if we're lucky. Build up the old bank balance. Um, I'm gonna do more more axing, please. As you act so nicely. Oh, I did not appreciate that. Thank you, bats. That was very deleterious to my health. No, go away, bats. Go away. 
Ah, uh, more ring tracer. Yeah. Oh dear. Well, that's nearly over, isn't it? We're gonna get oh. one more hit, and I think we're gone. <gasps> oh, okay. Okay, a little bit of floor chicken. We live to fight another minute, maybe. Okay, kind of need more more protection from these bats. Okay, that floor chicken will also. Oh, and that, so will that help? Yep. Um, need kind of more more protection or more damage, really, to be done these cheeky rats. Okay. Uh. Weave around the skeletons because there appears to be a chest down here that I can get to. Uh, try and bump into as few, few enemies as possible. Here we go. This should help. Great. What have we got? Please be. Oh, it can only be Axe or Rune Tracer. It's Axe! Yay! <laughs> okay, I mean, level 3 is good. I'll take it. And then general level up. Oh yeah, let's do clover. Ten percent luckier. That that should help in a variety of different ways. Okay, another one. Let's let's get more lucky. Okay, well now things are looking a bit better, aren't they? Strap here. Arr. I was kind of hoping the axes would pop out then, but they didn't. When they do, they're great. Oh, okay. That happened. Oh, okay. Red gem. Yeah, please. Alright. Uh, you know what? Magic wand would make a big difference at this point. Let's have that. Um, just because it, it's one of those proximity damage things that just gives you that little bit of breathing room that you don't have otherwise. Cool. Alright, this is back, back in the game. So now, because we're a little bit luckier, we've got a choice of four things to pick from. Um, level 3 Rune Tracer? Yeah! Let's get Rune Tracer up a bit if we can. Is this the five minutes? It's the five minute window, isn't it? Let's get up here. I was kind of already backed into myself into a corner while talking about it. Uh, there we go. Um, I don't know if there was much to go back for there, but I can have a look. Nice, and the axes there I can see doing like chunks of about 40 damage each time, which is very good indeed. Um, more projectiles would be handy. Okay, we'll do a little dance around these, these folks. Get some of this experience sucked up. Okay, well, this is turning into a modest run now. 
I like it. Um, what do we want? I think we want to get luckier. That's what I think. So I think we're more likely to get um, more helpful drops from the, uh, the torches or braziers uh, with increased luck as well. Um, such as the big, the big bags of lots of coins and the special, special ones like this. Oh, can we do the mantis? Can we do the mantis? I don't know if we've got time. Okay, we well, yeah, did a little damage to the mantis there. Um, getting that off the board and also getting a treasure chest from it would be very helpful. Okay. No. Okay, money's good. Um, don't accept American Express, I'm afraid. Oh, okay, another level up. Uh, damage, yes, damage will help. Uh, no! Okay. Teach me to check the time. Okay, how can I avoid not didn't really know. Acted too slowly there. Well, I uh, there's a treasure chest over there. It's probably inaccessible to me currently. Um Which is a shame. I haven't been offered many different weapon types, I don't think, in this run. Which might might be the downfall ultimately. Alright, I'm heading back up now. I, I don't know if this is a good strategy. Uh, I haven't got a lot to lose. Here we go. Let's have some treasure. Okay, Rune Tracer. Sure. Level 3? Level 4? Fire Swarm Projectile. That's pretty cool. Um, floor chicken, no, no floor chicken. I'm not going to risk ducking for that coin. Not with all these beasties around. Okay, uh, over here. Get that, oh, get that money. Pomerola, I would not say no. Oh, that's a big, that's a big mantis. Okay, we kind of need to get out of here, don't we? Let's, uh... Yeah, that wasn't elegant, but it got us out. Okay, so there's probably some stuff we can pick up around here. Um, we come around here for these braziers. Uh, coin, I think. Um, oh no, it's going to be pirates in a minute, isn't it? Pirate skeletons. Um, Okay, we haven't really got effective defence against that. Oh well. Oh, treasure! Unfortunately, it's kind of being guarded by that uh, very tough bat, so we're going to have to leave that for now. I'm not going to go in there, that's 
I mean, no, I think the enemies can walk through the flowers. I was going to say, maybe if you could be protected against the uh, the hordes inside there, that would be good. But I don't, I don't think you are. I think you just, you're just you, just you are trapped. Yeah, melted by skeletons. But, not bad, actually. Not bad. Um, didn't get any cumulative achievements or anything. Wasn't expecting to. But to get a little bit more money. So we must be up to about 500? 624. Not bad. That'll do. That's a tenth of the way there, at least. Brilliant. And a great time to end the stream. Thank you very much for joining me, me anybody who has popped by, um, to see what I've been up to. I've really enjoyed streaming Vampire Survivors uh, last week and this. Uh, the streams go so quickly. It time, time just disappears um, in a game like this. Which is kind of a good thing uh, when you're when you're streaming for sure. I um I don't think I will play any more on the court for now. Just because there's so potentially so much of this uh, that you could um, you could let's play or stream. Um, I'm kind of happy at the level we've got to now, um, but maybe I will pick up on recording at some point in the future. Um, I will pop this up this stream up as a VOD on my YouTube channel. And the YouTube channel is where you can find previous Let's Plays and ongoing series. Um, we've been playing RPGs and adventure games and uh, and the odd strategy and puzzle game as well. So if you're interested in those things, head over to Cat Quintus on YouTube. There's a link in my bio. I'm going to um, take a bit of a, uh, a pause from streaming for a bit. Um, but if you would like to know when I am next live, the easiest way to do that is is just to follow me on Twitch and um, agree to be notified uh, when I am next on. Um, you can also check out my Patreon page. Um, most, pretty much all posts are public. Um, and uh, currently I've got my pinned uh, streaming schedule as the, the top post there. So it's one place you can check with, um, in advance of any upcoming streams and uh, and yeah I will I will see you again soon I'm sure and until we next meet take care bye bye